Are you familiar with Michael Saylor? Uh, he's the crypto guy. He's the crypto guy, yeah. yeah. He's, he's, I take a cop out on crypto. I, they say, if you don't understand crypto, that means you're old. I'm 78. I don't understand crypto. I don't want to say it's a fraud. I think blockchain technology is for real. I don't understand crypto. I, I got a couple million bucks with a money manager. He has a 4% position. So I got $80,000 in crypto. You got eighty thousand dollars in crypto. Yeah, that's, that's what. It. So you, that's two bitcoins, give or take. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> the two and a half million yeah, I, dollar I, I guys got no, two bitcoins. <laughs> I, I, I know nothing about it. I don't have an intelligent view. I know smart people on both sides. <clears throat> so me, me too. And I'm, and I'm. Uh, uh, I own a. Pos- I have a, a position in Bitcoin and Ethereum. But I'm. I a person wouldn't call me like, oh, this guy's a you know full on. But I have Michael Saylor here the other day. And smart re- guy. Seems yeah. like a very smart guy. Well, you said education. I said, so why are you doing these things? This is only one reason. I got to educate people. I got to educate people about, about, about why, why uh, Bitcoin makes sense. The one part that uh, uh, more and more I think about it, more and more I think about what's going on is when, when what took place with Ukraine and uh, Russia, what's going on right now over there, right? Or what happened with Canada, the whole truckers, what they were doing. They can shut down your checking account if they wanted to. They can shut down your credit cards. They can shut down access to a lot of that stuff. I can't send gold to you, my family in Iran, and say, hey, you're going through tough times? Here, in 30 seconds, I'm going to send you gold. I can't send that. If, if the direction of how exchange can take place, the blockchain technology, as well as Bitcoin or Ethereum, that's making more and more sense for the younger audience. And some of the older guys are starting to say, maybe, maybe this does make sense. But Charlie Munger came out. And which Rat poison. Yeah, he called it rat poison. It's what he, yeah, he can he say does, whatever he wants. He did, he did not say good things about uh, uh, yeah. Bitcoin. I would be more aligned with him, but the truth is I've learned over the years, you speak about things you know something about. I, I don't know enough about it. Charlie's a very bright guy, uh, and uh, he speaks his mind. Uh, Jamie Dimon has said things about it. Uh, Warren Buffett has said things about it. I don't, I don't think it's in the interest of the U.S. dollar to uh, the U.S. country to promote an alternative currency. Um, but it may emerge on its own, who knows? Do you have control over that? that that's free market no, though, no, right? The yeah. market decides. I think they've missed their chance. There's trillions of dollars now held in this stuff so that they outlaw it. They'll just tax it to death, that's all. They'll, they'll, they'll basically have adverse taxes on uh, Bitcoin. If you enjoyed this short clip, click over here to watch another short clip. And if you wanna watch the entire episode, the entire podcast, click here.